In this video, I'll walk you through the Folk CRM tutorial for absolute beginners. Folk CRM is a modern, lightweight customer relationship management tool that does the busy work for you so you can focus on growing your business. We'll cover all the basics step by step, from navigating the dashboard and managing your leads to tracking deals and collaborating with your team. You'll see how easy it is to organize contacts, update statuses in a pipeline, add custom fields, create groups, link deals, integrate your Gmail, and more. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be comfortable using Folk CRM's core features to stay on top of your leads and relationships. And before we dive in, if you want to follow along or just test it out for yourself, you can sign up for Folk CRM completely free using the link in the description of this video. No credit card required. It's an affiliate link, which means I will earn a small commission if you sign up through it. All right, let's get started. Navigating the dashboard and pipeline. Once you log into Folk CRM, you will land on a dashboard. Think of this as your home base. On the left side, you have a sidebar with your workspace name at the top, a search bar, and sections for your contact groups. By default, you can see a sample which are basically categories or lists that hold your contacts. Each group is like a mini database where you can keep a set of contacts and customize how you track them. In this part, you can see the leads groups where you can manage potential customers. With the pipeline view, our leads are displayed in a Kanban board format, organized by status. Here, we see columns that represent different stages of your workflow, like no status, leads, qualified, and more. So now that we know our way around the dashboard and the pipeline view, let's start adding some leads into our CRM, creating and managing leads. Let's populate our CRM with some leads. Leads are basically the people or companies you're tracking as potential clients or deals. In Falk CRM, leads are simply contacts in your group. You can add leads manually or import them, but in this beginner tutorial, we'll do it manually to learn the ropes. To add a new lead, go to your pipeline view for the leads group. In the leads column, you should see a plus add button where you can enter a new contact. Once clicked, there's an option to create a person or connect to Google or Microsoft. Click create a person and let's fill out the person's first name, last name. So let's create one lead, name it Jonathan Haidt with his email here. Below, we can also add their phone, job title, birthday, URLs, gender, companies, and description. Let's add his company here. If you would like to create a company, you can do that by clicking on here on the second tab, company next to person. When you click it, you can add the details for company name, logo, email, phone, and more. After filling out all the details, click on create person, and that's it. We easily created a new lead. Switching views and updating statuses. Folk CRM gives you flexibility in how you view and organize your leads. We already saw the pipeline view, and here's also the table view. Switching between them is easy. There are tabs at the top of your group for different views. When you click on all leads, you'll be able to see the table view of all the leads. The table view is just a different perspective on the same data, so you can switch back and forth anytime. Super easy. Now, let's customize our pipeline statuses. You can quickly move our example lead cards into the appropriate columns. Drag this lead under the follow-up column into the closed one. If you drop them, you'll see their cards now under the column. You can also change the status by simply opening the lead, then clicking on the status and select the appropriate one. And voila, they now have a status. Next, let's see how to capture additional information about leads by adding custom fields so we can track things beyond the basics. Adding custom fields. Every business tracks slightly different information about their leads. Falk CRM comes with standard fields like what you can see here when I open a specific lead. You can see all their details right here like status, channel, prospect owner, deal value, company size, and more. But you can also create custom fields to store any data you want. This is super handy. You can tailor the CRM to your workflow, whether that's tracking a leads industry, lead source, last contact date, or anything important to you. Let's add a custom field to our leads group. We'll create a field for this one by clicking new field at the bottom part. Let's try text field. Here, let's add source, and then below it, we can add the text. Now, if you would like to delete this, you can simply navigate to label, click on it and select delete. For adjusting any of these, you can simply click on the details 
and type in whatever info you want to adjust. Staying on top of each relationship means not only tracking fields and statuses, but also keeping notes of conversations and setting reminders for follow-ups. Folk CRM shines here by making notes and reminders easy to use and collaborative. Notes, reminders, and team interactions. Here, next to details, you can find the team interactions section where you can connect your Google account or Microsoft account, and you can see all your interactions in this area. Another section is the notes here, and then the reminders. This way, if you go on a vacation, a colleague could pick up the follow-up task. Both notes and reminders being tied to contacts and shared means your team is always on the same page about what's being done and what's next. So I set a reminder here to make a follow-up on Horace in four weeks. For setting up a new reminder, click on new reminder. Then change the text, date, time, choose does not repeat, public or private. If you would like to assign this to a team member, just click on public, assign to, and click on create reminder. Adding a team member. If you're working solo, you can skip this part. But if you have a team, you'll want to invite them into Folk CRM so you can work together. Collaborating in Folk is as easy as inviting teammates to your workspace and sharing specific groups with them. If you would like to add team members to your dashboard, go to settings and members, go to members, and click on invite members. Here, you can type in their email and you can add them as an admin or as a member. And then click on send invite. So you now have an overview of the pipeline and how it works. Let's check out the other options in this left-hand menu. So at the top, we have search. You can also access it by clicking command K or control K. And here, you'll be able to see all the people and companies in your CRM. Next, the notifications. Everything that's happening in your CRM, you can see all the notifications here. If, for example, someone's tagged you. Next, we have messages. Here, you'll be able to see all the messages. Then the dashboard. If we click on the lead dashboard, we can see an overview of what's going on, like all the leads, estimated generated revenue, conversion rate, leads by industry, and others. Next, we have our different groups. Creating groups. As your CRM usage grows, you might not want to keep everything in one giant list. That's where groups come in. Groups in Vault CRM lets you categorize and separate your contacts into different buckets for different purposes. For example, you have one group for leads, another for clients, another for partners, or any other category that makes sense. Each group can have its own set of custom fields and pipeline, so you can manage different workflows separately. In our case, we've been working with a leads group. Let's say we want to create another group for clients, people who become customers. I'll show you how to create a new group. It's super straightforward. Go to the left sidebar where your groups are listed. At the bottom of my groups, there's an option that says plus new group. Let's give it a name called deals. You have options to manage people, companies, or deals. For this one, let's manage deals, then click create group. Folk lets you choose a fun emoji icon for the group. Pick the one that you like. Adding deals and LinkedIn people to deals. Next, let's talk about deals. In sales, a deal usually represents a specific opportunity or transaction. For example, a potential sale or project with a lead. Fox CRM recently introduced deal as a new type of object, in addition to people and companies. This is great because one contact or lead might actually be tied to multiple deals over time, and a single deal could involve multiple. In Folk, a deal can be linked to one or more people and companies in your CRM. This means you can track the deal itself separately from just a person. So inside this deal group, we can create a deal. Click on it. Let's put, for example, Apple video creation. Then we'll add a person here. Let's say Carol Hills. For company, we're adding Apple. And for status, let's go for qualified. Now let's click on create. Fantastic. Just like that, we created a new deal under the qualified column for Apple video creation. Pretty cool. Our folk workspace can now track not only who the leads are, but also what deals or projects we're working on with them. Wouldn't it be great if your CRM could automatically pull in your email interactions with leads? Well, with folk CRM, you can connect your Gmail account to do exactly that. Folk is built as a Gmail friendly CRM. In fact, it's often touted as a lightweight CRM integrated with Gmail. By connecting your email, Folk can sync your contacts from Google and even log your email conversations and calendar events as interactions on contact profiles. Super handy. It means less manual data entry for you. 
Let's connect a Gmail account to Folk. In the app, go to Settings and Members. Then look for a section called Accounts. There should be an option to connect Google accounts. Let's click Connect Google. This will open a Google authorization prompt. Choose your Google account or enter the login that you want to connect. For interactions sharing settings, you have the option to choose from either private, subject only, or full access. I'll choose full access and click grant permission. Confirm your email address once again, and when asked for permissions, make sure to allow access to contacts, email, etc. Essentially, check all the boxes for permissions so folk can import your data. It's important to grant all requested permissions. Otherwise, contacts or emails might not sync properly. Then click on continue. Once you authorize, give it a moment. Folk will start importing your Google contacts. Specifically, it pulls in anyone you've interacted with via email. And as you can see, our Gmail account is now connected successfully. Folk will continuously sync new emails and contacts moving forward. This means your CRM stays up to date with minimal effort. Super easy. Now you have Gmail integrated, which will enrich Folk's CRM with your communication data. Adding people. Going back to leads, the next thing we want to do is add your leads to the pipeline. To do that, simply click on add people and find a person you would like to add. Let's select one, Anna Barris from Yoast. Click on that and now, as you can see, Anna is added here. We can also move her to the column closed one. Open it and we'll be able to assign her an image. That's optional. Here we can see all of the team interactions we had, like the emails we sent back and forth. If we click on one, we'll be able to actually read the whole conversation. For a deal value, we can input here the amount, let's say it's $1,000. But if we find a field that we don't really need, like this company size, just click on it and select delete. And if we want to add some more fields that we need, like what we did earlier, simply click on new field and add whatever you need. Also, we can set up again a reminder specifically for her this time. Simply go to reminder, then click on new reminder. Let's say we need to follow up with her in a month. Here we can add the title or text, the due date, the repeat option, and then public for the visibility. I'll assign it to a person or even myself and just click on create reminder. So in four weeks time, we'll be getting a notification here in our notifications tab about follow up on Anna Barris. Pretty cool, right? We won't miss an important date. Congratulations, you've made it through the Folk CRM tutorial. We've covered a lot of ground, so let's quickly recap what you've learned. We navigated the dashboard and pipeline, seeing how to navigate Folk's interface and visualize leads in a Kanban style board. We added contacts to create our leads and learn how to manage leads, updating their info and moving them through statuses in the pipeline view. We set up custom statuses and saw how easy it is to drag and drop leads between stages. We added custom fields to tailor our CRM to our needs and even created a new group. We explored deals, creating a deals column and linking people to deals so we can track actual opportunities in our pipeline. Big win for sales management. We then connected Gmail, allowing folk to sync contacts and email instructions automatically, making our lives easier and ensuring our communications are logged. We practice setting reminders to never miss a follow-up. And we highlighted how collaborative those are. We also covered managing team members and sharing, learning how to invite teammates so we can work together. So doing all these things is pretty intuitive once you know where to click. And now you actually do. You're now ready to use Folk CRM to capture leads, nurture relationships, and close deals. If you're ready to try Folk CRM and start organizing your leads today, sign up for free using my link down in the description of this video. You'll get an instant access to everything we've covered risk-free. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.